Ripple 3D Drops are installed through FX Factory. Once installed, they appear in the Titles browser in Final Cut Pro 10. Ripple Drops are based on our Ripple 3D Scenes and Ripple 3D Styles templates. The key differentiator is that you're able to use your own texture to apply to text with Ripple Drops. There are three templates. The Floor Drop and Wall Drop templates are based on the same idea as the Ripple 3D Scenes, while the Open Drop template is based on the same ideas found in Ripple 3D Styles. Let's look at how they work. Here's the Open Drop template. In the Inspector is a drop zone for your material. Simply click on the drop zone, and then in the Library Browser, navigate to a material you want to use. You can click through different materials to locate one that you think that you want to use. Once you've selected a material like, simply click Apply Clip. Then click in the timeline to bring back the Title Inspector. Now, in the Title Inspector, up top, below the drop zone, are several parameters for adjusting the material. The material scale, whether the wrap mode will mirror or repeat, whether you're placing the material across all of the letters in the object or on each individual glyph, and how the site placement is handled. These parameters also appear in the text inspector, and they're duplicated over here for convenience to make them easy to access. After that, you can also adjust the position of the material in X and Y, and its rotation. Finally, you can adjust the brightness of the material. After these material options become all of the parameters that are identical to the parameters found in Ripple 3D styles. Specifically, you can change the font, the size, the actual text that's included. I generally recommend turning off the supersize checkbox and then adjusting your own size based on your font choice and the size that you want the title to be. A variety of other parameters to adjust the font. Lighting parameters. And then a set of animation options. There are a set of animation presets, as well as a variety of parameters to adjust these presets. In addition, you have the ability to manually keyframe the position and rotation of the text up here, and the position and rotation of the camera as well. If the text is over video, the video will automatically be blurred, and there's also an option to add a gradient that you can customize. All of these parameters are discussed in detail in the Ripple Styles product. So if you want to know more, select a Styles product and click on the Tutorial button to get all the details. The same general idea applies to the Wall Drop template, a Drop Zone, Parameters, and then a variety of parameters for adjusting the lighting, the background, and the animation. And again, these parameters are discussed in detail for Ripple 3D Scenes. And then Ripple Floor Drop is a set of text on a reflective floor that you can also add a texture. And then make all the same adjustments. And again, to learn the details of how to use this template in terms of animation and lighting, check out the Ripple 3D Styles templates. A couple of warnings about these templates and using your own textures. First of all, you'll want to keep the textures available. So if you have a managed library where your material that you're using is inside the library, you should be fine. If you're using material that was left in place when you imported, or move to an external location, that external location needs to be accessible, just like any other media, to be available in the timeline. The second warning is once you add a material and you modify your font and your style and your width and lighting and etc., you may be tempted to go to the text inspector and save a 3D text style using one of these pop-up menus here. However, that will not work with drop zones. It's a function of how Final Cut Pro 10 works with saved text styles. It will not work with drop zones. You'll be able to save it, 
but when you apply it, the texture that you used will not be available because Final Cut Pro is not where it is. So these work independently, but not in conjunction uh, at, with textiles. So I, I hope this quick overview is helpful and uh, have a great time. This is really fun to work with this and apply your own materials to uh, text in Final Cut Pro 10.